Okay, so welcome back fellow banknote and coin collectors. Uh, second time recording this video because I've done it in vertical and that looked terrible. So today we've got some Dutch banknotes. So these are a bit of an expensive series. If you're interested in Dutch banknotes, it's not going to be cheap. If you want to get a Dutch collection, basically you're going to be hunting for years and years to get all the banknotes because you've got some that are very scarce. Uh, some that are rare, like they do issue in the nine up to nineteen twenty seven. They had like a a forty and a sixty golden banknote, and they also issued other denominations like three hundred golden as well. So those ones would be very hard to get. So anyway, the first and the lowest value banknote is this two and a half golden. So this was issued in 1949 and this was at a time when they were just starting to issue uh, nickel and silver coins again uh, so up until 1940 they did issue a silver two and a half golden but they didn't reissue that coin uh, in 1948 when they issued the standard coins or 1945 when they issued the silver coins uh, but they waited to 1959 so that's a good, how long was that? 14 years after the Second World War before they issued a two and a half golden. This is quite a simple banknote. In this condition, probably worth about $5. And circulated, you know, 30 or 40. So that's quite a nice banknote. But the oldest one I've got is this one dated 1938. And this is a silver golden. And you could exchange it for coin. And the purchasing power of the golden back then was about 14 to $15 Australian, about 10 11 American. So this one had a high purchasing power. And in this condition, you're probably talking about $30 or $40 if you want to buy this banknote. Now, you might be able to get one cheaper, $15, $10, but you need to look. Uh, generally, if someone is selling them cheap, it's either they have to get rid of them which is a bad way to sell or they just don't know which is also a bad way to sell uh, so if you don't know or if you're desperate to sell the banknotes then you're probably going to get yourself ripped off and someone else is going to get a bargain so this one has the coat of arms and it's quite a nice banknote and this one uh, they're all classed as silver bond a, a silver bond so it's quite a nice banknote and then we have uh, the banknotes issued by the Netherlands bank so these have the lowest value of 10 gulden and between 1938 and 1945 they issued five different 10 gulden banknotes I'm not too sure why they kept changing the design Probably to uh, the only logical conclusion is to uh, for counterfeiters. So a lot of people were trying to counterfeit this banknote uh, because of, there was a restricted ability to earn money. So people would have looked for other ways to earn money so they could buy food. And also things would have got expensive during the Second World War. So this one had a, a purchasing power currently of about $140. So, but you can purchase these for like 40 or 50. And this one was issued in 1940 to 1942. And then they replaced it with this one in 1943, 44. But these circulated up until 1945. And this one has a portrait by Paulus Morezzi and it's called the beautiful shepherdress it's a female and quite a nice banknote and the watermark is if I can show yep grapes says the watermark so it's a nice banknote it's a pity they're expensive because I like collecting the series and on this side we have uh, the coat of arms then the next banknote we have is 10 golden. So it's a 
probably a bit more expensive. Uh, the 1943 is the easier to get. And this one has Rembrandt on it. And also the watermark is... That looks like a bird. Looks like a goose. So if anyone knows what the watermark is, please uh, leave a comment down below. And on this side, it's just pretty much pretty patterns. And that's why I like these back notes. It's very well designed, even though it doesn't stand for anything. And this one's 25th of February, 1944. And I have not found this date anywhere on the internet. I'm not saying that other people don't have it, but you know, no one's actually put it on the internet. Or if it has, it's been scrubbed. You know, they say, all oh, your information's gonna stay on the internet forever. Uh, no, it's not really, depending on what website. You know, if a website closes down, all that information's gonna get scrubbed because all the servers are just gonna get wiped. So, then, uh, another curious thing is that all the numbers tick over before the letters. So this seven is going to tick over before the letter. So when you read these, you just read this as seven million seventy-two thousand and sixty-seven. So this one, I would say, is probably worth about a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars. That's just my guesstimate from other banknotes because it's a lot harder to get than a nineteen forty-three. And the last one we have is a twenty golden. So it's at a purchasing power of about $280. Oh no, that's not 20. Okay, this one. Okay, sorry, my mistake. So it's 20 golden, purchasing power of about $280. And on this side, it has a fleet. And this is a painting by Rembrandt. So if I can get the information up. So, uh... And this is supposed to be Admiral de Reuter. Uh, that's his fleet. So we've got how many? We've got one, two, three ships. We've got a small boat going back to the ship. And it says Road to Algiers. So I know there was some conflict with Algiers. I didn't know the Dutch were involved. And here we have Queen Emma. So this is quite nice. First issued in 1949. And if 20 Gulden. So you should be able to read this about a translator, because Dutch is the second closest language after Frisian to English. So this is uh, 19th of March 41. And there is another one dated 19 March 41, but it had the, I don't know, they just crossed this out for some reason and reprinted the date, the same date. Maybe that was the 38, 39A, uh, well, anyway, so here we have, I think that's St. Nicholas Church, Amsterdam. And Schreier's Tower. So that might be Schreier's Tower. So, oh, I'll just take it out. It's a bit hard to see. Okay, Schreier's Tower. So this banknote's worth about 40 to $50. So that's a nice banknote if I ever see. So the reason why a lot of these are scarce was because after the Second World War, the Dutch introduced new banknotes. Pretty much, I these were pretty much printed uh, close to the 7th of May 1945. So anyway, this is where my presentation ends. I hope you like Dutch banknotes. If you're interested in getting banknotes that are expensive, uh, a few other countries also to get. Austria, they're quite expensive. Switzerland, they're the same as the Dutch. Some of them are quite hard to get. Denmark, yep, they can also be quite hard to get. If you're interested in cheaper banknotes, yeah, Germany has quite a lot of cheap banknotes. Uh, France, because they had inflation. Hungary, yeah, they had hyperinflation, so they're pretty easy to get. And thank you very much for listening to my annoying voice. And uh, take care. I'll leave some links down below. And also, 
If you have any comments, leave them down below. If you want to know values or anything, I could probably point you into the right direction. And hasta la vista.